and this is a basic tutorial on what are the advantages of the new MyDMX computer software. I'm going to give you some a basic overhead of why the average uh, mobile DJ or small white guy would buy something like this. Let's start with the basics. As you can see, this piece comes with three different tabs. It's great because it's not confusing. We start with a setup tab, which I'm currently in right now, and it has everything that, say, a DMX operator or any other controller would have, your faders and what have you. It also has the grid here so you can figure out where you're going to set up your light uh, on the grid and in what order. The great thing here is it has a built-in library. I happen to bring up American DJ uh, so that I can speak to and or program this piece known as a AccuSpot 252. So I merely pan upwards until I find that piece. I see it right here, AccuSpot 252. And then what I do, let's see, I want to sweep it up here. Let's see, bring it right on the spot I want it, tap it, and there it is. The great thing is I don't have to look at the manual. I just have to know the number of the light, the model number, pop it right in there, and now I know that that's channels one through eight. Bingo, I'm done. Okay, as you can see, I'm going to start my next light at channel number 9. But I currently will be using, say for instance, four of these AccuSpot 252s. So I put the arrow on there, right click, hit duplicate, so I don't have to keep drag and dropping. I punch this little arrow here and I say I want three more. I say OK, and instantaneously I have four AccuSpot 252s on the grid. Now, I want to come over here. I can actually pan across with this arrow to get all the way to the beginning. And all the way over. You can see it shows the different colors. So it separates the lights by colors. I get to the very beginning right here. And the great thing about this piece now is in the past when I used to be doing my DMX training, I would say, okay, everybody knows that number six is blackout. Well, not everybody does know that. I happen to know because I work with the lights all the time. Now, if you want to say, okay, turn your light on, you immediately go to six, hold this down, on goes the light. You have your pan, your tilt, right at your fingertips. Just like any other one, you can change the color. You actually have a pan and do all the different colors there. You got blue, fade over to a gobo, change it to an X. I want to rotate it, hit this rotating away. So it's just like any other controller but it's on a screen. And that's a beautiful thing. Finally, once you've, you've learned how to do your scenes, you, you learn to get them in the order that you want them. So with this, with these different windows here, or these different icons, you can make a new scene, you can copy a scene, you can delete a scene, you can rename your scenes, use a trigger like up here, use a trigger you want to put red on R, you know, B blue, G green. You can pull up a scene from down low and bring it into a secondary position if it's like in the 12th, uh, so on and so forth. You have set position of selected scene and find the import scene from maybe another show that you did. And last but not least, the user window, which all that is is when you made your scenes, it basically, after you put them in the order that you typed them, They'll all come up here, blackout being number one. What I did last night to make this quick and simple, just like to do on the cooking channels, is I have one already made. And uh, I'll bump over the one that I made here. So you have blackout, and now I'm going to pink spot, blue and white, green star, pink X, or it's like a purple X, that's kind of not showing well, and I've got an orange tire there. Nonetheless, once I want it to run, I start at the pink spot, and I hit the on switch here, and it goes every five seconds. It'll change to that scene, and then start all over again. And there you go, you have your show. So very simple. It's just a matter of communicating the information you want, whether it be 
again, you know, color or if it's a if it's a fog machine, you want a set a duration of how much, how long, and how much fog. Strobe lights, anything that's DMX, this item will talk to it, set your show, and you're done. <coughs> that's the basics on the my DMX. Um, they are available, and they are going for about 2.99, which fits that niche between hands-on controller and the real expensive software that's out there. Thanks for your time.